So I guess initially getting started out on in Juno, what were some of the big challenges and some of the big adjustments you had to make? So I, I'm sure you recall, I said when I came to visit, it was super sunny and beautiful here in Juneau. And the truth is, is that we live in a temperate rainforest here in Juneau. So it rains a lot. Um, I think if you look at our annual rainfall, it doesn't really look too scary compared to like other places who, that get like actual like thunderstorms or big rainstorms. The problem is, is it's just a constant drizzle. Mm -hmm. Like if you see Seattle, but honestly, even more rainy than Seattle. Really? Um, I feel like, yeah, I think Seattle has more sunny days than we do. Um, so from that standpoint, it does make you know a difficult place to live. Um, especially when you can only get out by boat or by plane. And so when I'm working with clients who are moving here from the lower 48 or Hawaii or somewhere where they're used to having a lot of sun, um, I try to paint a very realistic picture of what it's like to live here um, and to successfully live here uh, because I want people to love it and to stay here. It's a great community. I've never lived in a place with, that has had such a community feel and will show up when there is an emergency or in a problem. Um, it's very supportive and tight knit that way. Um, but you know, realistically, like, you know, a lot of people want to max out their budget for a house and living in Juno in particular, I'm like, you really need to consider like a vacation budget, like at least twice a year to get out, if not more often than that. Um, Alaska airlines is our only airline and, um, we've been to business school, you know, the term monopoly. Um, and so they just, I think they just ran a special and it's still cheaper to get to Seattle than it is to get to Anchorage for us, which is nonsensical to me. Right. But anyways, um, so it's, it's so, kind of the capital. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they, 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 um, but they charge us accordingly. It's, you know, I, and I get, they have a lot of expenses to fly in and out of here, a lot of cancellations and bad weather and things like that, especially this time of year. But, um, them being the monopoly prices of tickets to get in and out of town can be can be pretty harsh. Um, and so that's something I definitely consult clients on who've never lived in Alaska or Juneau, especially before. And they want to consider that. I actually was showing some people who were um, interviewing at the hospital here for a job and three days of showings, which was three days of rain. They finally, on the third day, were like, we can't live, we can't live here. Um, but it's like I said, if you're in a community and you're into people, if you like the outdoors, you like fishing, you know, a little drizzle doesn't bother you, get good rain gear, and you like to be outside, you're set. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums up Juno. <laughs> yeah, you've, uh, you've got to be wet. pretty committed to the, to the small town, small town atmosphere and kind of the more or less the Seattle climate. Yes. Yeah, and that's that's the thing that I don't think a lot of people realize is there are parts in Alaska where snow is definitely not always the norm right. necessarily. Like, I mean, it's it's snowing a little bit like back there behind you, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's definitely not necessarily the way it's like all the time in Juneau. Right. No, that's so true. It's um, it's pretty temperate, which is nice. Like, it's pretty moderate. Like, we don't get super cold, but um. I mean, you know, it's just as big as our, excuse me, our state is, our real estate license covers the whole state, but I wouldn't know anything about houses in Nome or houses in Wasilla or Anchorage. I don't, I don't know all of the um, ins and outs of the different environments or climates, you know, what affects a house here. Like you got to think about moisture and trees, you know, why is there rot? Well, because the wood never gets a chance to dry out. Mm. Um, yeah, that's. That would just be a completely foreign concept to me up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Big state. 